Hey quilters, this is Sarah from Snuggle Book Stitching, and today we are looking at my Forkle Doodle pattern. The paper patterns arrived yesterday, so if you pre-ordered a pattern, that pattern is on its way to you. I sent all of those out this morning, and if you didn't pre-order, no worries, you can still get one. I um, had a bunch of them printed, and there's also a PDF version available, and I will put the link to get your pattern in the description so let's just have a closer look at this pattern so layer cake version and a yardage version you can see both of those pictured on the cover size is 60 by 75 it is a beginner friendly fabric i know that to look at it it does look like it might be sort of hard but it's not um though all those shapes that you see happening in those quilts they um you won't have to make them at least not in the way you think they, that you will. It's a lot easier than it looks. And each pattern is going to come individually packaged in one of these little bags. And it does have a um, place to hang it. So if you're a quilt shop, you can carry these. And we've also got a barcode on the back. We've got the fabric requirements listed there on the back. So with these going out today, and on their way to you, let's open one of them up and have a little peek at the inside of the pattern. Okay, so when you get the pattern out of the bag, when you open it up, you'll see that it is a hard cover with some loose sheets folded up inside of it. And that actually has several advantages to having the loose sheets. Um, I did very official surveys on through my email um, newsletter and also through Instagram where I ask people would they prefer, as far as printed patterns, would they prefer bigger print, which I do have bigger font here than most people use, and I'm also able to use a little bit bigger diagrams because of these sheets, these patterns being printed on letter size paper instead of the half size paper like that. So it allows me to use bigger print, bigger diagrams for you, and um, it also saves a little bit on cost, which I pass those savings on to you. And my patterns are a little bit cheaper than most. And um, another thing that this going to, is going to allow you to do is it allows you an easy way to store your patterns that you get paper printed patterns in the same place as you would say your um, PDF patterns that you print off. And I know some people don't like PDF patterns at all, but most of the free patterns that quilt design pattern designers give out to people are going to be PDFs. I mean, I don't know really of any designers who are spending hundreds of dollars getting their patterns printed, plus paying for shipping and shipping supplies so that they can send them out for free. So most of your free patterns that um, quilt designers have available for you are going to also be printable. So with this, this allows you to store your printable patterns easily in the same place that you would store your PDFs. So right here, you see I've got one of my Cut Loose Press patterns here. That's a one-page pattern card. Um, thumbing through, you can see some of my other patterns. These are all, so here's another one that I did, like Forkle Doodle. This is Dublin Fancy, and you can see and I've just got it in clear protectors in, um, in a notebook. So I've got all my patterns in one place there. Easy to find. And here's one. Now this one I had professionally printed. Dublin Fancy was, Fancy was professionally, professionally printed. Here's one that I actually do have it professionally printed, but this one is not a professional print. This is just one that I printed off myself that's in here in this booklet. So you see this one that I printed off myself is able to easily be stored in your three ring binder with these clear pocket protectors. So you can have all your patterns in one place. So that's pretty cool. And another thing I wanna show you about this particular pattern is that for the PDF patterns, I do include a lot of hyperlinks that you can use to help you with different steps along the way. But since I can't do hyperlinks in a paper pattern, I don't want my paper pattern users to miss out on those links if they want to use them. So on the last page, I have some QR codes. And if you're not familiar with QR codes, they're really easy to use. You're just going to 
pull up your camera on your smartphone and aim it at one of these QR codes, whichever ones you want to use. Like you're going to take a picture and don't take a picture and then a little link will pop up, pop up and you can click on that link. So here we have the helpful links QR code. And when you use that QR code, it's going to come to a page on my site that has all the links that you would use that were available in this pattern in one page on one sub page and you can just click on whichever ones you want to look at and i've also got the link to my free pattern that i have for my newsletter subscribers and this all the free stuff goes to a page on my site where it has any free patterns that i have available at the time any free events that i have going on um, that are actively running or about to start having signups for or any free documents they're all on this page so just wanted to give you that little preview of this pattern and uh, the links for it are in my bio and I hope you like it. Thank you.